The European car industry is not known for producing muscle cars, but they do appear on occasion. During the golden age of the American muscle car, Europe was still recovering from World War II, the Cold War raged in the East, and the European auto industry was focused on small, inexpensive, and efficient cars aimed at the everyday man. This quickly changed as many companies realized that their cars didn't have to be so boring and began imitating the fun-loving Americans across the pond. For the next few decades, Britain invented the British Roadster, Germany invented the ultimate sports car, and France invented the best suspension. And so, the European muscle car, disguised as a grand tour or saloon car, emerged. Hi guys, welcome to Finest Vehicles. Today we will look at classic muscle cars that are not from the United States. And stay tuned, because somewhere in this video we will present a fun fact that you will find very interesting. Number 10. The Aston Martin V8 Vantage The Aston Martin V8 Vantage was introduced in 1977 as a luxurious Grand Tourer capable of conquering continents and it can be considered one of the first true European muscle cars. The V8 Vantage was powered by a massive V8 engine that started at 5.3 liters but could be upgraded to 6.3 liters, producing over 450 horsepower. The V8 Vantage is a fantastic car that was a hit when it was first released but became even more famous thanks to the James Bond films, where it appeared as the British secret agent spy car in the living daylights. The car also appeared in the most recent Bond film, No Time to Die. Number 9. The Ford Capri. The Ford Capri was Ford of Britain's response to the Mustang, but it was designed for a smaller country. As a result, the Capri was built on the Ford Cortina platform and shared many of the sedan's engines and general components. Because of this part and engine sharing, the Mustang in the United States had a big burly V8, whereas the Capri in the UK had a choice of four-cylinder engines, including a tiny 1.3-liter. Fortunately, Ford included the 3.1-liter V6 engine, which increased power, but a small racing company in South Africa created the Capri Piranha, which included the Mustang's Windsor V8 engine. The Piranha made the Capri far more desirable and far cooler than any of its competitors. Number 8. The Jensen Interceptor The Jensen Interceptor was a British car produced in the 1960s and 1970s that has since become regarded as one of the coolest vehicles of its era. It was built on the foundations of American muscle cars, including Chrysler V8s ranging up to 7.2 liters. Because muscle cars were not marketed as such in Europe, the Jensen Interceptor was technically a grand tour, but it had all the hallmarks. The Jensen has a reputation for being a nightmare to drive, but thankfully, many companies have been established to repair and restore the Interceptor to its former glory, making it one of the coolest European cars. Number 7. The Mercedes-Benz AMG Hammer The Mercedes-Benz AMG Hammer has one of the best names in automotive history, which fits its stance as a blunt instrument of performance perfectly. The AMG Hammer began as a Mercedes-Benz 300E or 300CE that was acquired by Mercedes Tuning Division. The resulting Mercedes-Benz 300 CE 6.0 AMG Hammer, simply known as the AMG Hammer, had a 6.0 liter V8 engine that produced 381 horsepower and a top speed of around 186 miles per hour. The AMG Hammer was a brute of a car that quickly became famous due to its slightly sinister appearance. The AMG Hammer, and AMG in general, were instrumental in establishing the unofficial German muscle car segment, which continues to this day. Number 6. The De Tomaso Longchamp The De Tomaso Longchamp is not a well-known car. It was built at the same time as the legendary Pantera, but it is a more relaxed Grand Tourer than the mid-engine supercar. The Longchamp shared its platform with the Maserati Kyalami, but unlike the Kyalami, which had proper Italian V8s, the Longchamp had the same 5.8-liter Cleveland V8 as the Pantera. Because the Tommaso is an Argentinian-Italian automaker, the engines sourced from Ford were tuned in Switzerland before arriving at the De Tommaso factory in Medina with 270, 300, 
or 330 horsepower depending on the specification chosen. Unfortunately, only 409 lawn champs were produced during the car's 17-year production run, making them extremely rare. Number 5. The Aston Martin Vantage V600 The Aston Martin Vantage V600 is probably the closest thing to a true muscle car that a European car has ever come. The Vantage was a continuation of the original from the 1970s, with a big V8 and the option of a convertible Volante. As a farewell to that model Vantage, Aston Martin bolted not one, but two superchargers to the 5.3-liter V8, resulting in 600 horsepower and 600 pound-feet of torque. The Vantage V600 was only available with a 6-speed manual transmission and could reach nearly 190 miles per hour. Number 4. The Holden Torana A9X when it comes to Australian muscle cars, the Holden Torana A9X is hard to beat. The Holden Torana A9X, introduced in 1977, was designed to dominate the Australian racing scene, which it did after winning the 1978 and 1979 Bathurst 1000s. It was powered by a 5-liter V8 producing 240 horsepower. Only 405 cars were ever built, and only 50 to 60 of them survived, which explains why one was sold for $500,000 in 2018. Number 3. The MGB. The MGB, introduced in 1962 as the successor to the MGA, was one of the most popular British roadsters in the 1960s. It had a unibody design, good steering, and a spacious interior that appealed to the American market. Seeing its success, MG engineers decided to equip the MGB with a V8 engine to turn it into a proper muscle car. As a result, the 1973 GT V8 became one of MG's best-selling cars, combining the performance of the V8 engine with the practicality of a large cabin and trunk. Number 2. The Alfa Romeo Montreal The Alfa Romeo Montreal debuted as a concept car in 1967. Many consider it to be a car that was far ahead of its time. Despite having a small DOHC 2.6-liter V8 engine, it redlined at 7,000 RPM, which was unheard of in 1967. The Alfa Romeo Montreal had a top speed of 136 miles per hour and a 0 to 60 miles per hour time of 7.4 seconds. After approximately 3,900 cars were produced, the Alfa Romeo Montreal was discontinued in 1976 due to a failure to enter the North American market. Before we go to the number one on this list, here's the fun fact of this video. Did you know that, the term car comes from the Latin word carom, which means a two-wheeled Celtic war chariot? And now, for number one. Holden Monero GTS 327. After Ford won the 1967 Bathurst 1000, Holden knew it had to build the car that would bring the trophy back. Holden engineers decided to improve on the Ford Falcon GT XR concept by creating their own version of the muscle car. The result was the Holden Monero GTS 327, which not only looked and sounded like a proper American muscle car, but also had a sportier interior, bigger wheels, and Chevrolet's 327 V8 engine, which produced a whopping 250 horsepower. Eventually, the Holden Monero GTS 327 outperformed the Falcon GT in the 1968 Barthist. Which one would you like to own? Give your opinion in the comments. Did you enjoy this video? Then please like and subscribe for more of the best new vehicle videos here at Finest Vehicles.